Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to another episode of Creative Tuesdays. So in today's video, we are going to create this text slice animation in After Effects. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. So go to composition, new comp and let's call this main width and height 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with 10 seconds. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition. So let's call this text and all the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now inside the text comp we are going to add our text so you can select the text tool and just click anywhere you want and after that you can type whatever text you want so for this example I'm going to type slice and you can pick whatever font you want I'm going to use this Gibson bold font so let's just double click this and I'm going to probably scale this up something like this and let me just quickly align this in the center if you're not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it also, let's make sure its anchor point is in the center. So you can select the layer, hold down the control key or command key. If you're on Mac, then double click on this and it will center the anchor point. Now, let me just probably scale this up something like this. Yeah, I think it looks good. So let's go back to the main comp and I'm going to quickly drag this text composition into this. So now I'm going to create a mask. So in order to do that, we can select the pen tool and make sure that the text composition is selected and after that you can just simply click on the endpoints just like this and just click somewhere around here and you can probably click somewhere around here as well and then just close this up something like this you can probably play around with the corners so you can select the edges and just make it something like this yeah, so I think this is looking good. So as you can see that the mask has been created and it is revealing the top portion. We also want the other part of the text to be revealed. So in order to do that, we can select the text layer, then press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer. Then we can select the bottom layer. And after that, just click on these endpoints and we are going to pick only the top endpoints. So you can click this one and then hold down the shift key, then click this one as well. So that only these two points will be selected. Now you can pick them and just drop them below something like this. So now you can see that the whole text is visible. So if I go back here, you can see that now the full text is visible, but you will notice that we can see a small line over here. Now in order to fix this, what we can do is we can select the layer, then select this endpoint, hold down the shift key, then select this endpoint and we can probably zoom in and then just move them a little bit up using the arrow keys. So I'm using the up arrow key to move the mask a little bit up so that the line is not visible. So now you can see that it is completely gone. Now in order to create the slice effect, we can add some shadow to this. So select the top layer and on this one, we are going to apply an effect called drop shadow. So just search for it and you can simply drag it onto this. And now you can see that we have a shadow. So in order to tweak this more, we can use these parameters. So first I'm going to increase the opacity to 100% direction. We are going to leave it to 135 and let's increase the softness. So right away you can see that we have added this really nice slice look. Now to make this pop out more, we can probably increase the distance. So let's increase it a little bit. So I think let's do it to 30. Yeah, so I think this is looking good. So right now we have the text and we can enhance this more by selecting the layer and then you can again select the pen tool and we can probably select this endpoint and just move it a little bit up so that you can see we have this really nice cap over here so now you can see it feels like our text has been cut from here so this is going to be our final look again if you want to tweak the parameters you can do that but for this one i think this is looking good so now our next step is to animate this so in order to do that what we are going to do is we are going to drag the text comp once again just like this so now you can see that it has completely overlap our text so we are going to add a effect on this one so which is called linear wipe so just search for it and you can probably select this and just drag it onto this 
So now we are going to animate this using the transition complete property. So in the beginning, we want this to be at zero. So we can add a keyframe just like this. Then you can select the layer, press U to check out the keyframe. And now let's move it somewhere around here. Then let's make it to 100%. So here you can see that we have the slice animation. We can select the keyframes, then press F9 to easy ease them. You can also go into the graph editor and just tweak the graph something like this. So here you can see that we have this really amazing animation going on. Now if you want, you can add some feather to it just like this. So there you go. Now you have your slicing text animation and it's looking very good. Now there is one small problem that you might not be able to notice right now. But if I enable the transparency, you will see that we have the shadow only in the upper part and not in the bottom part. So either you can fix that by adding a shadow to this part as well or you can do one more thing if you don't want shadow at all you only want the shadow inside these text then you can do one more thing all you have to do is just simply select all the text layers then you can right click pre-compose and let's call this text slice just click on ok now let's drag another text comp like this and on this one, we are going to change its track mat. So if you're not able to see the track mat option, then you can simply click over here. And from here, just make sure that the text comp is on top of this text slice comp. After that, change this to alpha mat. So now you can see that we have the shadow only in the cut part and not outside the text. So if I disable it, here you can see that we have the same look but the only difference is that the shadow is only inside the text. So this is how you can create this kind of text animation. Again, if you want, you can change the text. So go inside the text comp and you can type whatever you want. Again, you can select the text and then scale it down however you want. Just like this. Now, if I go back here, you can see that the text has been updated and all the animations will be applied. If you want to tweak the mask, then you can go inside the composition and again, you can select the pen tool and just tweak the mask however you want and it will give you a different result every time just like this. So it's completely up to you however you want to edit this out. So this is how you can create the slice text animation and I hope you learned something from this video and if you want to download the project files those will be available on Patreon so if you are supporting me on Patreon then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the download file for this tutorial as well as to all the other tutorials that are available exclusively on Patreon so make sure to check out my Patreon page again if you want to learn more things like this then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.